Okay, guys. So in today's session, uh, uh, we would like to discuss about uh, how we are practical. Okay. So <clears throat> what we do in uh, Intune training is uh, we create uh, internal server. Okay. Just like I have done in my uh, my voice is breaking. Is my Hello? voice not coming properly? Yes, yes, to yes, yes breaking. Is it breaking for everyone? Yes, 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 second bit. Okay, one yep, minute, guys. Let me change my internet network Hi, uh, is my voice clear now? Yeah, much better. Okay. So now I was talking about how we are going to do our practical, right? So in order to do the practical, um, we create internal server first. And then that server will be our domain controller, internal domain controller. So just like I have done, <clears throat> this is Oracle Virtual Box. On that Oracle Virtual Box, as you see, I, I have this server that is Windows Server 2019. Okay. And on that server, what I did, I installed the prerequisite for domain controller and promoted that server as a domain controller this one so this server is a domain controller okay so either you create the server locally on your uh, uh, laptop okay or if the machine which you are using that does not have a good configuration then you can create the server in azure cloud data center anything of your choice okay so once the server is ready right then what we will do we will have uh, we will promote the server as a domain controller so like this we have active directory which i will show you step by step how we can do it so the domain name which i have chosen is make me itexpert.com and then with the same domain what i did i <clears throat> Um, added that domain into this one, Azure Active Directory. This one is Azure Active Directory. And then I have done the uh, synchronization between local on-premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. So our plan is we will have, uh, let me choose this one. Okay. So suppose this is your laptop, right? laptop or desktop, or you can do it on Azure Cloud Data Center, anything of your choice. So in that, we will create a network and then we will have two machines. One will be your domain controller. Second will be your Windows 10 machine or Windows 11 so that we can do the practical on that one, okay? Now, so that domain controller, okay? Um, will have active directory okay so active directory is what it is on premises active directory and it has a database which will hold your user related information your computer related information then your group related information all the resources information will be there inside that domain controller active directory right so we have two types of active directory can anyone tell me Azure Active Directory. 
right on prem on prem ad which is there on the domain controller on the premises right and the second one is azure active directory now what do you mean by azure active directory so we have azure active directory right here you see portal.azure.com when you create your intune subscription okay so let me show you when you uh, create your intune subscription then you have to go to admin.microsoft.com which i will show you later on so admin.microsoft.com this is what this is microsoft 365 admin center in that when you click on show all you get multiple options here and that is this one azure active directory so when you click on azure active directory section that's going to take you let me click on ask later that's going to take you to azure active directory section so azure active directory is almost similar but it is in the cloud it is not on premises like a domain controller right it is in running on azure portal it is in the cloud so what companies are doing they are basically integrating the user information the groups information the domain information from on premises active directory into azure cloud data center active directory i mean azure active directory so this is your azure active directory wherein wherein you have these users right at the left hand side you see all these users are here then you have uh, uh, groups right you can click on the groups right these are your security groups and then you also have devices right all devices so right now uh, you will not see any device why because i have not enrolled any device once you enroll the device you will be able to see the devices here so 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 there are two types of azure, uh, active directory on premises active directory and azure active directory now what we are going to do the plan is we will create a trust relationship between the this one is azure active directory right and then this one is on uh, premises active directory so we will have a trust relationship between these two okay and we will create a synchronization link okay synchronization link what will happen whatever the information is there on on premises it is going to pass on to the azure active directory every 30 minutes it's going to do that but we can also change that if you would like to do it every five minutes that's also possible okay so whatever the information is in on premises it's going to keep on passing the information to azure active directory got it now so the there are there is one more thing that is uh, hybrid azure ad what do you mean by hybrid azure ad hmm? first is some future first is on prem right we have discussed about on prem azure active directory and what is that let me show you the on prem active directory this is the on premises active directory right we uh, create users and uh, we join computers to the domain and then we create groups and all this is on premises active directory now i showed you the azure active directory this is your azure active directory now what is hybrid azure id Hmm. Data stored on uh, both uh, uh, hybrid Azure. Hi, yeah, hi, hybrid Azure AD is nothing but the Active Direct, the Azure Active Directory, which has on-premises information as well. Got it? So suppose you have one Azure Active Directory which does not have the uh, this thing. Uh, the on premises data if there is no connection between the on premises and the azure active directory for example this one is your azure ad uh, azure ad 
and this one is your local ad for example the on premise if you don't have any connection between both of them this is called what so you you have separate data right S separate uh, azure active directory will have separate data and local active directory will have separate data but in case of hybrid we will have the connection between both of them so this active directory will become the azure hybrid azure active directory got it that means it will have the data of its own plus the on premises active directory both so our plan is to make this azure active directory as hybrid azure id so that the information what is there in on premises we will pass on to this one and then it will become azure hybrid azure active directory so um, <clears throat> in order to do that we have to have a server either you create windows uh, server 2012 or 2012 r2 or 16 or 19 or 2022 anything of your choice and either you create the server locally or you can create the server in azure cloud data center uh, depends on you okay so in order to do that the minimum requirement for your computer suppose you are planning to do it on your local machine the minimum requirement you need to have uh, on your laptop or desktop is uh, 6 gb ram minimum okay if you have 6 or 8 or 12 or 16 it's well and good but minimum 6 gb ram and then four core processor and uh, at least 100 gb hard disk space free hard disk space basically then you what you can do you can create a virtual machine just like oh, i have done in my laptop i created this virtual machine right and then on that virtual machine i promoted that server as a domain controller and then we will have one windows 10 or windows 11 machine and wherein we will do we will be supplying the policies uh, through intune we will be deploying application and other things through intune so <clears throat> that's going to be our plan uh, to start our to start doing the practical plus so this is one requirement okay the first thing the second thing um in case if you don't have this minimum configuration so what you can do you can go to azure free trial which you already know right that gives you 30 days free trial um okay 30 days free you can create your azure subscription that's not going to cost you anything you can create your server on that one but i would suggest you create locally because it does not need much configuration if you have a good config nf configuration that's okay then third thing we will have to purchase a domain so we need to buy a domain okay even though if you don't buy the domain that's also okay but i would like to show you <clears throat> as a production environment i am trying to simulate it as a production environment suppose you are setting up a company so how you start you first of all you purchase a domain okay so in order to purchase a domain you can simply go to godaddy.com right and here in godaddy what you can do you can find a simple uh, domain name for example um your name for example my name kashif it trainer okay and search domain and uh, we'll take the cheapest one don't buy uh, you know this one um, uh, dot com is a little expensive as you see dot com is 89 rupees uh, per month instead of i'm gonna use this one uh, dot in right so you also look for the cheapest one whatever is cheapest for you right and because after like a few months right uh, we are not going to use this one if you are planning to continue then it's another thing but i would suggest you go with the cheapest one and click on this make it yours right continue 
So I'm gonna click on rest. Everything will remain as it is and continue to cart. Customer domain is mandatory for that, right? No, it's not mandatory. But we, if you don't take the domain, then you can use the or dot on Microsoft dot com domain. Hmm. Right, so which right. is not that good actually we would prefer using our own customized domain okay now so instead of you see for me it is giving you two options dot com and dot in but i don't want to take the dot com because it is lit it is a little expensive so i'm going to click on this delete uh, option so i'm going to click on delete it's gone from here then uh kashif it trainer dot in that is giving us for three years so minimum you can take it for one year so i'm gonna take it for one year right so now it is gonna cost me 570 rupees okay so 570 rupees uh, it's okay right uh, you rest everything you need to make sure if you are having additional you know components you can delete them this is zero zero that's okay i don't have to delete because it's not charging anything if you have any other charges you can delete them okay so then you can do this i am ready to pay right uh say 104 is the tax amount so it's gonna cost you somewhere around 680 uh, 83 rupees okay if you would like to uh, go with the your personalized domain even if you don't want to do that, that's okay. Then you will have to go with the Microsoft domain. Okay, but I would suggest, my recommendation would be, you take, purchase a new domain, okay? Any cheapest one. Don't purchase, you know, the domain which is like very expensive. So any cheapest domain you can purchase. Uh, .in or .ca, uh, .com is expensive, okay? Got it? Clear everyone? Hmm. Yes, Pashi. Any question? Yes. Now, is so it, it is, hmm? it is only one year, two year, three year, right? Not month, right? Monthly basis, no. Okay. Minimum one year. Okay. So you purchase that one. And then once you, you know, when you do that with your domain, then you will get more clear picture how companies are doing it. Okay. So, okay, that's it. So you can relate the things, um, how they are doing in, in the production environment. In, rather, you can go with this dot on Microsoft.com. I have no problem with that one, but my recommendation will be this one. Now, so once you do that, what will happen? We will get a domain. So just like I got domain, uh, this one, um, make me itexpert.com. This is the domain I purchased from GoDaddy. Right, a few years back, I think five, six years back, I purchased this one. So, and then we will build Active Directory. Uh, I mean, we will build a domain controller accordingly. Okay, we'll have our customized domain, and uh, using that domain, we will go to this Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and then we'll go to the settings, and we'll go to the domains, and we have to verify our domain which we purchased from godaddy okay so each one of you will have to purchase a domain right if you don't want to do that then you will have to go with this domain the one which you get by default when you create your intune subscription right you get dot on microsoft.com domain so you can also go with this one okay but that will not give you the real time uh, exposure rather than you go with this one, the personalized domain, okay? So both of the options I have given to you, so it is up to you, either you go with this one or that one. So where you have to verify your domain, and once you verify the domain, then you will be able to use your own domain. Uh, and then, Yeah, Kashif, Whatever here, the, yeah. I have a doubt here. Um, so earlier we have purchased some domains in GoDaddy. Mm. Uh, then now how can we uh, get those 
Um, you have to log into GoDaddy, just like I I am logged into GoDaddy somewhere. Let me see. Yes, I think I'm logged into GoDaddy. Yes, I'm logged into GoDaddy. So when I go here, I have products here somewhere, right? see i have some domains okay so i have purchased these domains uh, there are three domains i have so i'm gonna go to this uh, make me it expert right this is the domain i have on godaddy right so we will be able to see the information uh, for this domain got it clear uh, yes i got that so on hmm. one more thing uh, previously i have mapped this uh, to another azure can i change you you will have to delete it from there first. Otherwise, it will not allow you to do that. In previous, uh, suppose if you have a domain and you have already mapped that domain in in Azure, right? Yes. Then you will not be able to map it in the uh, different uh, Azure subscription because it will say this is already mapped somewhere else. So you have to delete it from there first then you can do it here. Then uh, is there a way to <clears throat> unmap? Yeah, you log into Azure portal, just like I mean, uh, Microsoft 365 here, and you have option to delete, right? Uh, I think we can delete it from here. Somewhere, remove domain, yes. Okay. So you have to do this one from the old one then only you will be able to add it in the new one okay, okay. okay. now uh, so who is going to do it on uh, the laptop yes hmm? i think you uh, you informed us uh, laptop is better right laptop is better okay because uh, that gives you like uh, 6 months uh, free trial uh, the server license so in free trial you can utilize that one and if your laptop supports i would definitely suggest you to go and uh, set up the whole thing in your laptop how do you ISO for uh, server for the lab uh, voice is your voice is very low sorry uh, can i have the uh, iso for to the server to the tonight? yes yeah Yes, I am going to share that with you guys now, but uh, how many people who are going to do it on the laptop? Um, anyone who is not able to do it on laptop? Okay. I think not able to do in laptop. Able to do it laptop. Easily remote. Okay. So those who are not able to do it on laptop, why? the the configuration is not good enough the configuration is not good. okay then you will have to do it on azure cloud data center okay, okay. you will have to create a azure free trial okay and then on azure free, uh, free trial once the subscription is taken you can create your uh, domain controller there you can create windows 10 machine windows 11 machine and then we will do the synchronization between the local domain and the Azure Active Directory domain. So I am going to send you an email, each one of you, and you follow that email. That will that has two both the options. So you can create your uh, local lab plus those who are not having good configuration. You can create your Azure subscription. So Does let me. Pour? For mm. local lab, also we need to uh, purchase a domain from GoDaddy. Yeah, domain is necessary. Domain is necessary for each one of you guys, whether you are going to do it on laptop or in Azure Cloud Data Center. Okay, thank you. But if you, even if you don't want to do it, that's also okay. But that will not give you the real time experience. That's only the concern here. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, I need, can you guys send me your email address here in the chat window?
send your email id so that i'm gonna send one email to you guys okay Okay, so I received email from uh, Vikas. And then Suresh. Copy. Balaji, then uh, Yusuf, Pradeep, Drone. Pramod, okay, then Aparna and Mayuri. Salman and uh, okay so I received emails uh, email address uh, from you guys let me just close the chat window okay now I'm gonna send one email to you one minute guys Send Gmail. Excuse me. Okay, so I am going to share my screen again.
Okay, let me know when you see my screen, guys. Yes, we can. Okay, so there are two options. Step number one, those who are going on Azure Cloud Data Center. Suppose if your computer is not good enough, right? Then you can create your Azure Cloud Data Center account, uh, free account. And that is, uh, these are the steps, right? You need to go to this uh, and then create uh, Azure subscription. So if you have already created your free account before, then it will not take your previous details. You can't use your previous email address, previous phone number and previous credit card because it will recognize you as the previous uh, user. So you will have to have a, a new user account, new email address, a new phone number, new credit card. So credit card is just for verification. They are not gonna charge you anything. So free trial account needs credit card for verification. So that's the step number one, okay? In case if your computer is not good enough, then only you have to perform this task. Now, step number two, most of you guys will have to perform a step number two because I think majority of you have good configuration, right? So this is for those who will set up the local, uh, who will do the setup on local system on laptop or desktop. So you need to download Azure Virtual Box, um, but depends. Either you go with Azure Virtual Box or you can also go on Hyper-V or VMware. It depends on you. So I would suggest you go with Oracle Virtual Box. This is the link from where you can download Oracle Virtual Box. And this is Windows Server 2019 ISO file. Somebody was asking for ISO file. So we have this ISO file here, right? And um, install, you need to, step number one is what? Install Oracle Virtual Box or Hyper-V or VMware, anything of your choice. Now create one server. You need to install one server. But when you are installing the server, you need to make sure you have Windows Server 2019 desktop experience. So there will be four options. You have to select this option and name the server as domain, right? And domain, you give domain as three GB RAM, one processor and 50 gigabyte of hard disk. Instead of 50, let's make it 70. 70 GB hard disk. Any question so far? Dr. Boss, I have created previous one, right? When I have learned SCCM from you. Can we hmm. manage from this but server you, also? But you created with a different domain. You can't use that domain now because you will not get that domain in GoDaddy, right? So okay. we would like to go with the domain which you are getting on the do GoDaddy. So whatever okay. the, go the domain you purchase from GoDaddy, the same domain we will use it here in the domain server. Okay, thank you. Got it? Yes. I told you guys, if you are either you go with GoDaddy domain or you go with Microsoft domain. Okay. But for real time exposure, we should go with the customized domain. Okay. So I'm going to send uh, to everyone. I just sent in case if you don't receive it in your inbox, uh, check it in your uh, spam folder as well. So I just sent this email to you guys which has both the instructions, um, Azure Cloud Data Center and uh, local. Any question? Hmm? I received the mail. Oh, also yeah, on right. the same email, on the same email, I'm gonna send uh, the instruction, uh, reply to all option, where is that? I think here, yeah um kindly also create uh, also uh, purchase any cheapest cheapest domain from godaddy so because by first we will create the user id and password for godaddy or direct purchase Hmm? No, when you are purchasing, it will ask you to create account. So create account at that time. Okay. Okay. 
So make sure you don't uh, purchase the expensive one. Okay, six hundred rupees maximum, six seven hundred maximum. Don't uh, purchase the expensive one, guys. So go, daddy. Okay, go. You can get the information from the godaddy dot com. I think no. Let me take it from here. Go daddy. Okay, so when you click on this go daddy, right? You have to search the domain first, okay? When you search it here, for example, Kashif IT trainer. When you search, right? <clears throat> 499 for the first year wow it's also giving little more uh, cheaper 499 add to cart okay continue okay so i'm gonna go with continue to cart but you have to make sure you you uncheck the extra things for example see here they have added some of the things so first of all i'm gonna change that to one year right that's the first thing the 499 and uh, the second thing is uh you see they have added full domain protection we don't need this full domain protection this is they are charging me a 399 extra so i'm gonna delete this right so 499 you see i'm getting some coupon option you see promotion coupon and that's the reason i'm getting a little more discount so rest everything is okay yes so i'm gonna go i'm ready to pay <coughs> so 499 yeah here you will ask you to create account got it so you can log in with Facebook or continue with Google or you can continue with your email. Depends on you. So okay. four ninety nine. Um. So, and that extra uh eighteen percent uh, GST I think so it will come around six hundred rupees, not more than that. Okay, but you will get good learning experience when you take the domain. Kasi bhai, every product go to GST. What is this? Kya ho hai? Ask uh, the government. Kindly also purchase any cheapest domain from GoDaddy. Okay. Send. Okay. Is the instruction clear to everyone? Yes. I... Anyone who is like confused or any question? Hmm? One question uh, regarding the uh, AD thing. Um, right now, I have the account in uh, uh, in Azure Active Directory. I have created some accounts, like 20 to 30 accounts. Uh, if I create a DC, uh, does it sync the data from uh, AD, Azure AD to uh, on-prem DC? Other way around. Yeah. Other way around, it is possible, but for that you need to purchase uh, Azure uh, Premium Premium Active Directory license. So don't go into that one. Rather, we will do from on-prem to Azure Active Directory. Okay. 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 Gosh. Okay. Okay, guys. So get this done uh, today. Uh, you have to perform all, all these uh, steps. Uh, first, you purchase domain. Second, you follow these steps and get this ready by today. In case if you face any challenges, anytime you can message me on WhatsApp. Um, in case if you uh, have any question, I will, uh, I will yes, respond I to you. Yes. Uh, so already I created uh, before a month, but I don't know whether it, uh, it will be free trial or not. What? Uh, for in June, uh, that is 90 days. I have, uh, uh, have in tune, taken, yeah, in I have tune or Azure free subscription? Uh, 
Which Actually, one? I have taken the pre-trial for Azure. For okay. The, so that 30 days will be expired, I think. Yeah, 30 days but, is expired, yeah. Yeah, can I use the same account or I have to create another one? So why? Because you know, if 30 days is ex expired, then you can't use it now because uh, you we will have to create some servers. Okay. And one more thing. So actually, I have uh, placed a, a trial environment for SCCM that is running uh, in my PC. So can I install this? Uh, 2.19 server again uh, the VMware so that will yeah that is what I am saying you if your computer is good enough you should do it on the computer why you are going on Azure as you see my domain this one is my SCCM server right these are all my SCCM related server like domain database and MECM what I did I have stopped these machines and I created another server so uh, in your case you have to create another server but don't create another server. Um, I mean, you have to purchase a domain first. Yeah, I, I already I have already domain. Okay, from GoDaddy, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, here uh, in my you know in my PC I have installed VMware. So mm. for the SCCM, I, it, it is consuming four GB, and for AD it is consuming two GB. Mm. My in my PC I have only eight GB. Mm. So by when you are using when you are using Intune domain server, then you turn off those SCCM related servers so that it will not consume those uh, processor and memory. Oh. Got it? Okay, power off, power yeah, off, right? It. Power off. Yes, just like oh, I have yeah. powered off these machines. So when I'm Enough. using this domain, I keep them off other machines. Okay. Okay, so no, 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 take the memory, right? Thank it you. It will not take the memory, but when you start all of them at the same time, then it will create a problem. Pure Kashif. And one more thing, Kashif. Uh, so, uh, can I share my screen and uh, hmm. can you disable my uh, domain? Uh, I yeah. disable your domain. Okay, I made you. Uh, you can share your screen now. Yeah, sure. sure. I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I have already this name AJ or forty hmm. and AWS J forty. These are the domains already I have. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in <clears throat> Azure, I am using ajdor forty dot x y z. So here, how can I disable that? Go to office dot admin dot office dot com. Open a new tab and type in office dot sorry admin dot microsoft dot com. Yes, uh, admin dot microsoft dot com. Yes. Login with the same account which you have used on Azure Active Directory. Yeah. Okay. Can you go to the Azure Active Directory section? Hmm. Here at the top, you have Azure Active Directory. Click on that. Uh, scroll down a little bit scroll down not there at the left hand side you have the list of items uh, click on azure ad connect cloud sync No, you don't have any cloud sync. Go back.
Is this the same account or different account? Is this same account, Kashi? One minute. <laughs> Type in domains on the top. Where is that? You don't have that domain XYZ added here. Hmm? Probably yeah, it is in the other one, not in this one. So you have to find log into the other account where you added that domain and then delete it from there. It is showing on Microsoft.com, right? Here is the gmail.com above. No, this is the default one, not the XYZ, the one which he is showing on um, GoDaddy. Okay. And um, Kashif, can I add this uh, that particular uh, XYZ domain here? Can I um... add custom domain? Click on add custom domain. Uh, hmm, type in that. <clears throat> so you have to, you see, you have to, to use uh, with your Azure, create a new TXT record with your domain name and register using the below information. Yeah, so um, verification will not succeed until you have the configured domain with the registrar as described above. So either this option or uh, we get a, when you go to Office 365 section, so that's a pretty straightforward option. Can you go to this uh, office.microsoft.com? Hmm. dot com sign in you have logged in already right sign in Are you logged in with the same account or different account? So same account I have logged in. Okay. But I don't know why the domain is not uh, there. So this is, no, this is Gmail, right? This is not that account. Okay. This is the Gmail account. You have to log in with dot on Microsoft.com, right? So when you go to this, you have to type in dot on microsoft.com Suresh dot on microsoft.com. Oh, sorry, it is at the rate, right? Okay, uh, you let me know um, later on. Looks like this. 
this is not the account which you are using. You had added that in the previous account, okay? okay. I will connect with you later on on this, okay? And we will check. Okay, guys, we'll meet tomorrow, okay? Everyone? All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank everybody. you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Bye.